照片。My journey continues deeper into Brooklyn, way, way deeper into Brooklyn. I'm Lox Larocks. I'm on a journey and this is to find Larox. to discover the artist way. This is Lox Larocks. Come with me on my journey. Lox Come with me to Lox find the artist on my journey to find the artist way. How are you? Excited. Your bathroom is amazing. Let me just tell you. I had a really good time in there. So, who are you and what do you do? My name is Carlos Caldero and I am an artist. And we are in the beautiful neighborhood of Seagate. Seagate, Coney Island, yes. Seagate, Coney Island. Do you feel safe living here? Sometimes. Because of global warming? I feel safe as, uh, except for the police. How do you work? Um, the process of the work, I guess. Uh, I, I, I work on paintings, uh, acrylics on, on canvas, and I do printmaking, uh, mostly uh, wood carving. Is that your specialty? It's not a specialty, it's not like a meal. Favorite? But uh, <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just my inclination. What do you like about your work? Nothing. You don't like your work? Why? When I find something to like, then I probably will stop painting. So you haven't, you haven't created the picture that you'd like enough to... To say I've done it. It's actually kind of fun. Uh-huh. How so? It gets me from being bored. So you like the process, but you don't like... But I don't like the end result, usually, no. I'm always trying to change it. Do you have a Do you have a vision of what you want? In you, my head, I do. And do you feel like you don't reach that vision once you get to the point, or does it? It's, turn into it's a very quick vision. It's a very fast. It's almost like a glimpse. I know I never get a full picture in my mind. It's always a glimpse. So, what do people think of Carlos's artwork? People tend to like the colors. Um, and sometimes well, this, my pictures can be deceiving. Um, you know, they might be pretty on the outside, but not in the inside. So I, I, it's, it's a good way of getting people to look at it. I feel uncomfortable with some of your work. I would, I would definitely have to say that looking at some of your work, I, I do enjoy the colors. It's very fun. I, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a carnival. However, I step further into this carnival. Darkness. This indelible darkness or surrealness is what gives Carlos's work an interesting edge. What is the best advice that you've ever been given in art school? Don't stop. No, never stop. That's good advice. I still, I still follow it. Now, what is the best advice you've ever given anyone? Don't think too much about it. Equally good advice. I agree. Because I think a lot. That might be a problem. You can't can't really get much from thinking too much about it. You just have to take it for what it is. Tell me about a real-life moment that was inspiring to you. This is a real life moment that inspires me. I've never done it before. Okay. What's what's going to be the result of the inspiration? Oh, maybe I'll make a painting of it. Of this moment right here? Yes, why not? Would you like it when you do it? I don't know. You have to ask me when I'm done. You do like to work with faces, whether yeah. you like the faces or not. Um. Just random faces. Sometimes I just like uh, uh, think about uh, an expression or a face, or, or it's, it's just what I've been thinking about lately. But I always work with uh, faces. I, I always done portraits. It's kind of like one of the things I like to do uh, when I'm painting. But um, they're just random faces. Of you know, some of them are just heads. 
this face right here, this one's giving me a really stank look. And he's, he's, like he's really over me. Maybe he's high. Maybe he's an alien. That's a good looking alien. Yeah. They assimilate well. So what did my journey teach me here today? The advice that he's been given and that he passes forward to not give up and to not think too much about it. Carlos continues creating almost every day, posting and showing his work wherever he can.